This is the basic procedure for using the Snell's Law Lab with a light tank, refraction tank over here, and it's filled up with a fluid. And I've got a laser level and I've got a protractor. I'm using a felt tip pen, although you'll be using a nice fine, fine point pencil so you have a nice sharp line. I'm using the pen so you can see it on this video since it's being shot in low light. So I'm going to move the tank out of the way. And to set everything up, I need to start with two lines that are perpendicular to each other. So on my paper, I'll use a protractor and draw a line. I'm going to put a dot right here in the middle. I'll line that up with 90 degrees. So I set this up, 0 and 180, right on the mark. Put a little dot right here at 90. And this will become my normal line. This is going to become the boundary line for my light ray. So what I'm going to have on one side is my air. On the other side, inside the tank, I'm going to have some kind of fluid. Then I'll take the laser level, I'll turn it on with a little switch on the back, and I'm going to start by pointing it right there at the intersection. On my tank, I have a little line. This line is right here, right there, right in the middle of it, and that's the center of the tank that I'm going to use. So I'm going to slide this line up so that it matches my normal line. So that's the center of the tank where that little line is. Some of the tanks have an etched in. They're not done very well. And then I'll line them up right here as well. So that line's, now everything's set up. Now my tank's in the right position. As the light ray comes through, I can see there's a bounced ray, which I'm really not interested in. And I've got this ray right here. This is actually kind of going on top of the water. So that's what it's showing there. It's the second one that I'm interested in. You can see it come out over here. So I put this piece of paper, you can see the two rays. This one's on top of the, the water because it's a laser level, it's how it works. And this is the one that's going through the water, and that's the one I'm interested in, interested in. So I've got this light ray going through. I can barely see it. I don't know if it's showing up in the video. I'm going to make a mark right here. That's going to be my, the end of my refracted ray. And I'll make a mark over here on the incident ray. Now I can take my refraction tank, move it out of the way, take my laser level, turn it off, and then draw my lines. So this becomes the incident ray coming into this location. This will become the refracted ray. This angle is the incident angle, and that angle is the refracted angle.